All right, guys, here we are with the new Nissan Aria 2023 model, the full electric SUV from Nissan. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful electric SUV on the market today. And of course, I will have another video, a full review video, interior, exterior. I will explain you the exterior design. I will explain you the technical data and all that information. You will find it in a separate video. In this video, it's all about driving. We will drive this new Nissan Aria and I will give you my feedback on how it's on the road. But before we start driving, I wanna give you some information about the car. This is the version with the front wheel drive system. It has the bigger battery, 90 kilowatt hour, and it has 242 horsepower, and we will drive it. It's kind of in the middle in terms of power, but in terms of version, uh, an option is the top end version but more detail about that in the full review video now optional on the car come with 20 inch rims 1000 francs extra here in switzerland they are beautiful i mean they fit on the car just in a big big way and also this black color is beautiful but i will present you in another video also the car come with keyless entrance that means you can put your finger here lock the car electric uh, folding mirrors if you want to unlock it just put your hand here what i notice the quality of the doors uh, is just insane and also the handle quality it's it's super premium everything in the car feel and look crazy premium i was super impressed to see that but more about that it's super cold let me go inside the car it's crazy cold outside it's minus one degrees but more details about the quality and materials you will find out in the full review video the car come with electric adjustable seats the position here it's gorgeous i mean you have lovely position everything inside feel premium and nice visibility around the windows it's very good and also in this mirror here you have the possibility to turn it let me show you guys press the pedal here is the start system button the mirrors will go on the side it will play a nice graphic nissan intelligent there it will show you a nice graphic and i want to point out something look at this the mirror has a camera behind there so you are able to see also the camera if the mirror visibility is not good enough for you but for me it's it's quite good uh, visibility also I like the square design of the of the mirror here look really nice big mirrors on the side big windows so in general the visibility it's very good around the windows also I have a very nice position here on the seats it comes with these Napa leather seats they are phenomenal we will talk about them in the other video as well they are make somehow special down here they are design special if you look at the design here they have a really really special design to improve the blood circulation on your legs so it's really interesting i will explain you more in the review video the price of the car this is the evolve version the top end version the entry level version it's advanced and then you have evolved the top end version around 64,000 francs but if you add the 20 inch rims and if you add this blue napa leather 1500 you will go to price around 67,000 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea let me put the seat belt also here in the middle it comes with beautiful armrest and also you can adjust it forward backward depend how you want it also you have kind of some nice integrated buttons here where you can also activate e-pedal so from here you activate deactivate it and here you have different driving mode we have free driving mode eco standard and sport mode so you can change from here we will test all this driving mode here we have some buttons of course uh, if you want to activate the auto steer we will also activate this right now only available with cruise control so from here you activate the cruise control and then you activate the steering assist so i will test it as we drive the range of the car around 500 kilometer but if you look here on the screen we have 546 kilometers so it's a little bit more depend how you drive you can get even a better range but around 500 kilometer it's more than enough range for the car and in my opinion i hope will be the way they say and i want to test that let me re actually i want to oh reset all this consumption and we will see what will be the consumption in the end so we have zero right now we will see the consumption in the end 
also you can see on the cockpit you can customize it you can see the map you can see whatever you want in the front right there it's super super cool and customizable the the um, digital cockpit and also you have here all the information uh, on the multimedia but more about that I will show you in another video also the car comes with a beautiful head-up display directly on the windshield and also it comes with heated windshield this is awesome for from my point of view I like that very much now let's drive the car here is shift kind of a shift by wire transmission just press this button if you want to go in reverse you go forward and the car come with 360 degrees camera the the mirrors will dim down a little bit the the camera resolution it's also very good and you can see it map up the ground really really nice and you can see those lines there that help you park the car now if you go in drive you just go down and you have two different driving modes you have drive that goes down once and then you have also b mode if you go one more time down you go in b mode the b mode mean that the car will regenerate more energy when you take uh, off the foot so for example right now you take off the foot and the car will regenerate a little bit and if you go one pedal e-pedal drive if you press e-pedal drive that means you kind of don't need to use the the brake pedal so actually when you lift the foot of the acceleration the car will uh, will start to brake let me show you right now you accelerate and then you lift the foot right now look at there the blue that means the car will regenerate back the energy what i notice is that the car is doesn't go to a stop you know i mean it's like still creeping forward so this is probably the only downside that i find but in general it's it's really really good um also the car come with independent suspension mcpherson in the front multi-link um semi-independent on the rear so that's really really good so the suspension are in general are super super fine and we will test it also as well so if you go over the bumps here they are they are relatively fine it feels a little bit heavy it's normal because it has a super heavy battery and the motor uh, and it feels a little bit heavy but that's that's fine because it adds a little bit of sporty feeling to the car you know um, it, it feels quite sporty it feels quite stable here and I like that also the steering wheel it's very light and nice and uh, I feel good I feel good I have a perfect visibility out there and it feels really nice the turning circle of the car 11.6 meter and even though it's a big 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 SUV I noticed that you can turn it in small spaces without any problem and it's quite agile you can play with it super super cool so I like that the acceleration in echo mode it's it's quite uh, smooth and nice it's silent inside and also the pedals even though they are not aluminum they are normal pedals but I feel like the quality of the pedals it's it's really good very good visibility also the head-up display um, I see the car two months ago uh, in a showroom and I was super excited to drive it and to see how it's on the road because I was super impressed uh, about this uh, Nissan Aria in my opinion it's one of the most beautiful and in terms of quality it's it's it has very 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 good quality inside the material quality the visibility the new digital cockpit the new multimedia system um, even the steering wheel it has super super nice grip it's made uh, from leather it's a leather steering wheel but it's super beautiful it's a little bit bigger up here so you have a better view and also smaller down here super nice grip um, I, I, I really like it now if you accelerate in echo mode it's it's it really push you back on the seat a little bit and then if you release the acceleration in B mode and e-pedal you can see right now the car will regenerate back the energy if we take off the e-pedal now the car will roll a little bit more and if we take off the the b mode as well right now in drive we are in drive and if you release it's just roll something that tesla doesn't have this option i wish all the electric cars on the market to have the option to roll and right now the car will just roll and that's great because you it doesn't lose any heat during the process of recuperation you know um, and sometimes it's very very useful at least on the highway and anyway when you press the brake right now 
first of all it will recuperate the energy and not use the brakes the physical brakes so um, yeah I like it I like the system uh, the only thing that I wish it was it has this uh, creep that gets you to a completely stop but other than that pff, lovely system I like the way it is um, if I would drive I would drive probably with B mode activated because I think it's uh, enough power uh, to to recuperate the energy and to brake and to anticipate the traffic but sometimes you just need to let it roll you know I feel like like it's very comfortable to be here very comfy on those seats as I said before they are made special uh, for improving the blood circulation on the legs and I, I already feel that it's something special on them so they, they quite put a lot of work on the seats try to give you the best comfort the visibility it's lovely I mean you have a very very tall driving position let me go in sport mode and if you oh I like it even though you have 242 horsepower it's it's quite 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 responsive and I like it now the steering wheel it's a little bit more stiffer I can feel that Wow surprisingly it's quite sporty it doesn't bounce around too much uh, when you take the curve and I, I'm surprised for such a big car I was expect to be a little bit like a boat you know like but it's it stays relatively good so wow great job Nissan it's it's a really good car I was anticipate that uh, that would be a, a lovely car and it can activate uh, the the cruise control from here so actually what you have to do is just activate it from here and then the car will actually uh, hold the lanes for you right now you have to set the speed for example you set the speed to 54 and the car will accelerate will keep the lanes uh, will brake for you it comes with all these um, safety features um, as standard this is the great part of the car and from here just let me show you around right now you can set it up look at this and then you go to 60 and right now you activate it all right perfect Right now it's activated, you can see the green stuff right there. Go to 80 maximum here, let's go a little bit slower. And you can see right now the car will keep between the lanes and will accelerate, will brake. It will warn you from time to time that you have to hold your hand on the steering wheel. This is a must have. So I just, for the purpose of the video, I just show you um, how the car will do. Um, it, it is doing a great job I mean even on those small streets right now it's brake itself he's knowing that here it's a roundabout and it's brake for me automatically this is crazy and think about here it's very good wow the steering it's quite quite heavy in sport mode wow it's really so realistic I like that doesn't doesn't let it assist it at all it's quite heavy wow it's so nice i like it what the car it's it's really good made i mean it's a really big difference between eco mode and sport mode i mean you feel it in the steering wheel now let me activate again this again the car is doing great on this autopilot that comes standard with the car you don't have to pay extra and usually this is made special for out uh, for highway or for traffic uh, but look at this it's doing a great job also on those kind of uh, small streets so from my point of view um, I think it's very useful right now it will brake itself look at this it's brake automatically when the car in front is go away then the car will will accelerate automatic yes 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 then you have to you have to pay attention to the to the wheel to the green wheel because now uh, it doesn't see the lanes and it's just kind of deactivated but usually this system you should use it on the uh, on the highway most of the time now 
We are in sport mode and the steering is quite quite heavy. I like that. It's quite realistic. And here on the curve, I feel like I I I feel the ground, you know, like in a proper electric car and I, uh, in a proper sporty car and I like that very much probably because the weight and probably because the weight that they added to the steering wheel it gives you a nice feedback of sporty car when you are in sport mode so th this is surprisingly for me it's just it's just surprised me a lot I like it I like what I see and I like what they did with the car now if you want it 7.6 second zero to 100 uh, with this front wheel drive motor and with this battery and this combination uh, you really feel a little bit of pushing uh, but not too much don't expect to be something crazy but it's more than enough power to drive daily and also to give you some power to to pass around some other cars I like it. I, I like the car. I tell you, it's 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 really really good. I didn't expect to be that good. 21.2 kilowatt hour consumption until now, but we will see how it will be until the end. Uh, in sport mode, as I said, gorgeous. I mean the handlings. I love how how the car is handling the curves. Um, it's pr probably probably the best. In my opinion, it's my favorite electric SUV that I test until now um, I, I really love how it's handling I, I mean they did a great job if I go now in um, let's go in standard mode uh, let's see standard should be kind of a combination between eco and sporty yeah now the steering wheel it's much more assisted and lighter um, yeah over the bumps is doing super fine now it's, it's just a combination between those two and also it gives you a little bit of push when you press the acceleration now it's recuperate the energy back uh, on B mode so if you know how to anticipate you never use the brakes like almost in all electric cars but incredible nice I love the grip and the steering wheel and the design and it, it looks so good and the visibility on the on the cockpit there is just gorgeous is nobody behind so I can try somehow an acceleration from zero this is like standard mode so it's it's taking the speed slowly if you go in a sport mode there's nobody behind It's a little bit faster but just slightly faster not a big difference if we go back to echo let's go back to echo and see what consumption we can get but actually I don't need echo I need sport mode now when I have to pass this car also the sound inside the cabin the sound insulation it's relatively good I mean it, it, it's quite good <laughs> nice car I, I love the car I love the car guys I tell you I really love it I really feel special inside the car I feel like it's a premium car the driving feeling it's a premium feeling and I think Nissan did a phenomenal job with the car we still have 98% battery and the car still show me 533 kilometer range so pretty nice it's more than I was expected here. It's doing great on the roundabout, easy to drive, easy, easy, easy on over the, the bumps. Great high uh, position of driving and great visibility outside. And also it's super beautiful the car it's mega beautiful check out the review guys I will have the review on the channel uh, check that out to see uh, also the exterior design and all that information 
about the car technical data and in little details I try to, to go in every single detail but it's incredible easy to drive it very good visibility nothing to complain I mean I don't know if I have something to complain about the car everything's feel and look uh, crazy the seats are also incredible uh, comfortable those uh, leather seats they are just fabulous I didn't test the fabric material seats but uh, those leather seats are super super good I love the car let me show you if you want to park the car for example you're going here and you want to park it you just go brake go forward and then just look in the mirrors the mirrors are perfect you have that lines there that shows you uh, the ground and you can you can just park it like that it's just super easy good visibility um, it's not the best 360 degrees cameras but it's still relatively good and you can also activate the cameras from here and you can uh, it comes also with auto parking so it helps you park automatically if you want to but also finish also it comes with those uh, super nice cameras here that you can see around the car now the consumption of the car 21.1 kilowatt hour is the consumption and we drive like 10 kilometers outside it's very cold so that's something to keep in mind uh, this is the average this is the way you drive and stuff like that a lot of information still 532 kilometers and keep in mind that the heating system it's on and it's doing great the car it's it's lovely i mean the driving feeling is phenomenal guys you can see also the head-up display there um, i love the car so as a rating for this uh, nissan aria from one to ten um, i will definitely give it a 9.9 .9 because the price is a little bit too high but when we look at the quality you will understand why they put so big price because the quality material quality the way it feels inside here it's incredible incredible good so i can actually compare it with a mercedes or a volvo or a bmw or other uh, premium brand really really good quality so great job nissan i really like the car good that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it by the way if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out auto house hard uh this is in langenthal i will leave the link in the description guys if you want to uh, check them out check them out the link will be in the description very nice people uh very helpful you can test drive it they will explain you everything they have also great service here so check them out other than that if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask don't miss out the full review with the same car i will have a full review interior exterior all the details about the car and there you can find it in more details also the space in the car and technical data other other than that thank you very much for watching my video i really appreciate guys that you're watching my videos uh, don't forget to like share subscribe and yeah stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys